<clears throat> hey everyone, thanks for joining me on a bonus episode of The New Marketing Show, Instagram TV or YouTube and our blog, wherever you are, wherever you're getting this. Sorry, I wiped my face. It was, it's a little rude. I'm sorry. So I probably just shot the worst Trinity Web Minute. It probably had like hardly any information in it. But we're talking about billing practices and we're talking more specifically about how web developers and how WordPress developers and how digital marketing agencies bill for bill their client. So I realized that it's really, really difficult for me and it's actually impossible for me to talk for everybody. So I'll just let you know how Trinity does it because that's going to be the best way to do things. So the way Trinity does it is Kevin and I will get together and discuss Hey, is this something we've done before? Is this something that we have experience in? If it is, then we can draw back on that experience and say, okay, the cost should be between X and Y, just a, a, a bracket, as we're going in and figuring out things and hammering down the scope of work. You know, the scope of work dictates everything that we do because for X amount of dollars, you get Y amount of services. For Y amount of dollars, you get Z amount of services, et cetera, et cetera. So what we try to do is, we try to break everything into a project-based billing. <clears throat> the reason to do that is us as a small business, you as a small business and, and, and working with budgets, you know what to expect. You know, we're not car repair people. We're not, you know, anyone where, you know, we're going to let somebody believe, well, this is going to take two hours and then have to go back to them and say, well, we're two hours in and we're not even close to being done. We need to bill you more. We just find that that's not fair to anybody. And it really leaves, it doesn't help build a relationship. It helps break down a relationship. It helps break down some trust. And it's it's a real difficult situation. It's really, really difficult place to be. So what we try to do is we, we try to break it into a project and say, this is the cost for this scope. We hammer down the scope. The scope is so important. Hammer down the scope and say, for this scope, it is going to cost you this dollar amount. And then from there, we can break it into uh, two invoices, one in the beginning, one at the end, or we can break it into three, one in the beginning, one halfway through, and one at the end, however that works. The one thing that Trinity Web Media does not do, and this is you know something that I learned a long time ago, is we do not negotiate price. When you negotiate price, you start to negotiate your value. And when you negotiate your value, you become a commodity. So what we do is we do not negotiate price. It, we're fair to everybody. You know, we're not the cheapest. We're not the most expensive. We're somewhere in the middle. But at the same time, we're going to do a great job. So we don't negotiate price. What we will do is negotiate terms. And we can negotiate those payment terms, you know, to make it fit in budget. Do we need to make it four payments? You know, we prefer two, but it doesn't need to be three. How can we work together so that we're not so rigid of an organization? So that's how we handle that stuff. If it's going to be something where <clears throat> it's ongoing and we have to take things in iterations and we have to take things in building blocks and we will, and especially content marketing and social media management and SEO, what we will do is we will charge a setup fee to get everything going to get everything done that we need to do. Sometimes that is setting up Google Analytics. Sometimes that's you know making sure the social accounts are set up properly. Sometimes it's an SEO audit. We will charge for that initial set up our discovery phase, and then from there negotiate a monthly rate because we know that it's impossible for us to be effective doing SEO other than the technical stuff. Ongoing SEO, you can't really show results in 30 days. So we would be you know, lying to everybody, lying to clients and saying that, yo, in all 30 days, you're gonna be guaranteed to, be, to rank X, Y, Z. No, there are no results guarantees when it comes to SEO and and management like that. But what we can guarantee is we do guarantee that we're gonna do everything in best accordance to Google. We're gonna do everything technically sound to make things work. So that's the type of stuff that we'll look to break more into um, retainer type contracts and you know different mo monthly costs like that. So hope this answered a lot of questions. You know, definitely appreciate you guys asking this. You know, how do we differentiate between you know, hourly based, you know, to project based, to monthly retainer based. So that's that. So thanks for checking us out here on Instagram TV in the new marketing show or on YouTube and our site. So if you have any questions, fire them at us and uh, please rate, review the show and let's go from there. We'll keep making content for you. Thanks.